spectacular. It's, it's so pretty. It's beautiful and it's beautifully made. And it's a lone star pattern and it reminds me of the star of Bethlehem, the mm. star that led the wise men to the manger. So I think it's typically fitting for a quilt for the holiday. Now it also, if you want to get the shams, those are offered separately. They're $39.50 for a set of two, which we'd highly recommend. I was saying to Greg, years ago at QVC, we had a lot of quilt shows and we had a lot of education about quilts. My two sisters are amazing quilters. I inherited the appreciation. I cannot do what they do, but I have some of their quilts actually framed and hanging on the wall. But this is one that I would put on a table. This is one that I would fold and I would put on my piano bench if I had the twin size, because you can really use these to decorate as well as to dress up the bedroom. You can, and these are exquisitely made. These are tomorrow's heirlooms. Mm -hmm. And I always say that, you know, nowadays grandma is not often quilting. She may be running a small corporation. But just because and grandma she might didn't, be quilting on the weekend, though. Well, but, but just because this didn't come from grandma's hands doesn't mean it, it didn't come from her heart. So it does become an heirloom. And you can see what makes this quilt unusual is not only is it quilted, but there's a wonderful shot where it's been embroidered. So we have the Lone Star pattern in the center, but the poinsettia around all the edges with the, the scrolling vine and the holly leaves. And that's something I remember our quilt expert that came from a very famous museum came to talk to us about and they said, you know, don't get used to embroidery because that's what is so it's, expensive and, and that's rare. the lost art. I notice on the side there are some curved lines and I know from my sisters because they paint with with fabric and that's what a quilt is, that those curved lines, they're much more difficult than the straight, the straight lines, lines to do. So the fact that that's included on the side is amazing. And the, the poinsettia is a symbol of cheer and celebration but also of that star of Bethlehem. Right, and you know so. the, the legend of the poinsettia that the little boy was going to the manger and didn't have anything and his tears fell on the weeds and then the flowers grew. So it's such a beautiful story. And yet, the other thing I always used to tell you guys is even if you're not great sewers, somebody in the family may be, you can always just take a little embroidery floss or thread and you can do little block letters, maybe initials, you could do a date so they'd always have that in your own hand. And I was just thinking about my daughters and I was thinking about me. What is the room in your house that you get to decorate first for holiday as a child? It's your bedroom. You're up, you're all and, you know, bedroom. Deirdre's bedroom is, you know, snowmen and snowflakes and skates and Kara's is all glittery and pink and purple and green. Mm -hmm. So when you think that the bedroom is usually the first room you get to decorate, then we get all grown up and we forget to decorate the master bedroom. So even though you could buy this in different sizes and really even use it as a tablecloth because it is machine washable and dryable, mm -hmm. It's an easy way to make the whole room holiday. Exactly. The bed is, is almost the largest piece of furniture in your entire house. And in one fell swoop, you can Done. create that instant decorating. Right. And we talked about how it's made, but it's 100% cotton mm -hmm. and 100% cotton fill. It's done with a vermicelli stitch, which gives it really depth and dimension. Right. So this is something that in 20 years, 60 years, 80 years, someone will pull out, someone will remember, this came from my mother, right. this was grandmother's, I remember this when I was a child and it is an heirloom. Right, they get better and they get more puckery as the but, years go on, they really do, they get that wonderful feel to them. And this was on the air last year. We don't do as many quilt shows as we once did. You may be a quilter, but you would say, well, I would never take that and put it on a table, but this works perfectly on a table. I always say, get a twin and use it on your dining room table. If you mm -hmm. have that rectangular table, set up your holiday buffet. If somebody spills on it, throw it in the washing machine, put it on your quilt rack or dry it on low, and it's perfect. I also like the full queen because it's 90 inches square. If you have those 30 inch particle board tables you get at the craft store, you can drape that and it comes all the way to the ground. It becomes a wonderful end table. I could see maybe putting a gingerbread house on that. Valerie or, had a lot or, of them or in a, the last or show. Or a crash or you know, the little manger and it becomes a wonderful focal point and then you have it for years right. and years and years. You know, I remember we ski a lot and I remember we were in Vermont and we walked into this wonderful little inn and they had just basically draped over that second story entranceway, this beautiful quilt. It wasn't so, hanging, it was just thrown. It was so pretty. So if you've got that, that the, kind of double the, the story banister, entranceway, right. just throw it over the side. It looks so beautiful. And like we said, this was on the air last November. It sold out completely. When you think of 
89 to 124. I've been to the fabric shops with my sisters. Right. I've seen them buy all the different types of fabric they need to do a quilt. That is an art, but you know, I'm a knitter, but I still buy a lot of Aaron sweaters from QVC. Right. We all can't, you know, do everything by hand, and if you don't have that ability or that time or that talent, look how gorgeous this is. It's I think a rich sophisticated way. We used to do a lot of bedding that was like Santa Claus Snowman and ho 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 and, and like this, this is, is so it's, sophisticated. It's classic, it's refined and it's timeless. Right. So it looks appropriate now but 60 years from now someone's going to be cherishing this and pulling it out and quilts I think create memories right. and you remember whether you use it on the bed and snuggle with it, whether you use it for decorating it just makes your heart sing and it speaks to emotion. My mother used to tell me a story how she and her cousins would get under the quilt rack when her mom and all the aunts would be quilting and they'd sit underneath and look up and they'd see the needles flying That's and they'd listen to the gossip and they'd hear all the stories. It's magical. And those right? are the memories you're doing. How about twin size for the dorm room? Bill to ship to and then she or he, if he loves great decor, instantly decorates for the holiday. And if you say, but what sheets would I put underneath it? Mm. I don't know, Sharon, do we have some sheets that we can put underneath it? She said right here, in fact, what's on the bed works perfectly. Thank you very much. So Evening Star sold out last time on QVC. That was a year ago. It just came back in stock. But coming up next, 80,000 have been wow. ordered. Wow, that is a wow. And here comes, in a second, our today's special.